Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our Earth Day Chapel here at Virtual ESK. I invite you to join with me in worship. Alleluia! Christ is risen! The Lord is risen indeed! Alleluia! Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today's reading comes from the book of Psalms. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and all who dwell therein. Thanks be to God. So today is Earth Day, and hopefully you all have the opportunity to get outside and play and enjoy God's creation. And even on a rainy day, if, if the weather's bad, we can remember that everything that we see out our window is a gift. This world that we inhabit, it's our only one. We can be excited about the prospect of landing on the moon again and having a base, maybe playing our best Matt Damon and having a habitat on Mars for a time. And who knows what we'll discover on the icy moons around Saturn that might hold water and the other ingredients for life. But all of that is not this. We get one earth, one sweet world, is one of my favorite songs that Dave Matthews Band wrote. One sweet world, this is it. One of the prayers that we have in the Episcopal Church, one of the Eucharistic prayers, has the phrase, this fragile earth, our island home. That pretty much sums it up. A world so big as ours is also fragile. It's our island home as we fly through space. And you take care of your home. Another way to think about it is this is our spaceship. You take care of your spaceship because outside your spaceship, you can't live. This is it, this is what we have and it's a gift. And like all gifts, you take care of that gift as a sign of respect and gratitude to the one who gave it to you. God created this earth and all that is in it. Created the geologic processes that we see in volcanoes and in the oceans and the way they move and shape our world. The birds of the air that you can hear as they chirp around me. The beautiful blue of the heavenly vault that bright green of fresh spring growth, those beautiful oranges and yellows of the fall, all the seasons, all the creation. This is our home and we should take care of it as a sign of gratitude and respect for the one who gave it to us, not as a gift to play with and then throw away, but to take care of, to steward, to make sure that we have something to hand on to those who follow after us. Your parents know what I'm talking about. Your grandparents know what I'm talking about. And someday you will too. We are partners with God in the ongoing flowering of creation. We're supposed to take care of it so that when we hand it off to those who come after us, it's not worse for the wear. And we can say, we took care of it. Now it's your turn. And so remember, take care of this earth. Think globally, act locally is the catchphrase. Look around you. We live and breathe and have our being in one great gift from God. Please take care of it. It's the only world we've got. Amen. Now let us sing our creed. Join me for the prayers. 
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that, rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness. For the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, you have made the world very beautiful. Teach us to love our world and to treat it with reverence and care. For your Son, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And I ask you to think about all those who are doing their best to help those who are sick, to take care of those who are not yet sick. Pray for our first responders, our doctors and our nurses, our hospital staff, our healthcare workers, our frontline workers. Pray for our grocery store clerks. Pray for all. For we're all in this together. And let us join those prayers with the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to sing a song today called All Things Bright and Beautiful, All Creatures Great and Small, All Things Wise and Wonderful, The Lord God Made Them All. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, He made their glowing colors, He made their tiny wings. unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thanks be to God.